Okay, in this problem, a 250,000 gallon detention basin is constructed in order to receive runoff from a nearby parking lot. The sewer leading to the parking lot can handle a max flow of 7 cubic feet per second. During a given storm, the average discharge from the parking lot through the sewer and into the basin was 2 cubic feet per second. How long in hours would this particular storm be able to last, assuming a uniform intensity? before the basin had no capacity left and flooding occurred elsewhere. So this problem is a basic unit, con unit conversion problem. And all we need to do is use the information that it's given us, as well as the understanding that Q equals volume over time. So we can prove that real quick just by looking at the units. So Q is cubic feet per second. Volume is cubic feet, time is seconds, these match up. And all we have to do is rearrange this equation to find what the question is asking for, which is time. So T equals V over Q. We've already been given our V, that's the 250,000 gallon detention basin. And we also have been given our Q, it is going to be two cubic feet per second. Ignore the seven feet per cubic feet per second that was given just to throw you off. This question is asking for how long this particular storm would have been able to last during the storm where the flow was two cubic feet per second. We don't care currently about what the max flow of the sewer could be. So the first step is just going to be taking the area we were given and converting it. So we have 250,000 gallons. And according to our unit conversions in the reference manual, one cubic foot equals 7.48 gallons. And this will give us 33, cubic feet. Step two, um, knowing T equals V over Q, we just need to solve. So we have our volume at the top here and we've been given our Q in the problem. So 33422.5 cubic feet over two cubic feet per second. And this gives us just about 16,711.2 seconds. All we have to do now is convert that into hours. So 16,711.2 seconds times one min over 60 seconds times one hour over 60 minutes gives us 4.6 hours. And there we go. That's all there is to do this problem. It's worth keeping in mind that if you had picked seven cubic feet per second because you weren't paying attention, um, the answer of 1.3 is what you would have come out to. And the problem asks that too. So it's just, an, or gives that as an answer as well. Um, so just a reminder that the PE will sometimes give the correct answers to the incorrect variables, just as another way of throwing you off and making you think that you reached the problem uh, correct. So this is just all about trying to make sure that we pick the correct terms and we understand exactly what the problem's asking for, since that's what it takes to pass the exam. But yeah, that's it for this problem.